Today we're making tucks and belly bands for our August assembly line junk journal challenge. Stay tuned for details and the tutorial. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here with my next installment of August assembly line embellishments. So this is for the August assembly line junk journal challenge. The deadline is August 31st, so there's still plenty of time for you to join in and the details video for that challenge is in the description box down below. Today we're going to be doing eight belly bands and tucks. We're actually going to be doing nine and so I've chosen from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop the Fairy Flutter Digital Kit. I took the large page like this and I printed four three and a half by five per page. Okay, so it's a large page like this and it is, it's got flowers and butterflies on music paper and you can cut out these butterflies. They're actually larger than the other page so the cut apart page for the butterflies looks like this and I've already cut out some butterflies to use I printed off three of these pages so I have 12 of these and um, but I wanted you to see I took this large one told the computer told the printer thing I wanted four three and a half by fives and so that's what I got okay from the quilt book that I've been using, I have some papers here, and so I'm going to be using these as the pages. It's really, it's nice, sturdy paper, and that's what I'm going to be using to um, attach my, <laughs> attach to. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with the belly band, okay? So I'm gonna be doing a regular eight and a half by 11 pages fold and a half journal. So um, that means my pages will be right around five, five to five and a half inches depending where they are in the book. And so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. I'm gonna clean it up first. There we go. Okay. So if we come over here and figure our page is five and a half inches wide. Okay, so there's that. And this page is I need three belly bands. We have enough room for two and a half inches for each each one, and we'll have a little left over. Okay, so there's the two and a half. There's two and a half. And there's the two and a half. So those are my, the backgrounds for my belly band. Okay, while I've got the cutter out, assembly line, we're gonna go ahead and cut um, for the tucks. So I'm gonna have three tucks. My pages are th uh, three and a half by five, my little papers that um, we have. So if I cut this at, let's see, yeah, got plenty. If I cut this at three, three and a quarter, Okay, so there's three and a quarter, and we'll cut this one at three and a quarter. That way we'll have and 
and I want a little square. So I'm going to cut this at three and a quarter. Okay, so there's that at three and a quarter. And remember, you can do all yours the same. You can do either tucks or belly band or both. And I'm in, as the teacher or the hostess, I'm in the position that I kind of have to do all of that, all of it. So I'm going to do a top tuck for this other one. So let's see, we have 11. So if we cut this at five and a half, so remember it's three and a quarter. Let's cut it at just under five. We'll go to four and three quarters, okay? four and three quarters, four and three quarters, okay, and remember I am using scraps, basically for my journals here. I am using things from around the craft room that would be considered um, like leftovers from things and scraps. So here we are at three and a quarter. Okay, so I have got my three belly bands, my three top tucks, and my three little square tucks. Okay, and so we can go ahead and put this aside. Keep it close in case I need to, in case I need to fix something. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so for this one, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to cut around these. I can use my cutter. <laughs> for the belly bands, I can cut around these. I need three of these for belly bands. Again, this is from the Fairies and Flutters digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. There's a few different fairy kits. So this one is Fairies, Flowers, and Flutters. Um, it's the one that has the garden fairies in it. It's kind of a little bit... It's antique. All of the images are antique images um, in it from the early 1900s and the 1800s. But the but it's it is brighter. We have all kinds of flower fairies in that kit. It's a lot of fun to use. But and then it also has flowers and it has butterflies and I would go ahead and continue to cut all these out I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll fast forward okay so I have my nine images all cut out and ready for us to use. So for the belly band, we can see that we're like really, really at a good size here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this in half and put this on the belly band. Now we'll be able to flip it up and you can write in there. And um, so I think that that is gonna be really cool. I'm also, of course, going to make this a pocket because 
I love pockets and I cannot lie. So that way I'm just gonna go ahead and put around the three edges there. And you'll find a lot of times I'll put pockets in, sometimes I won't even use them. But where the fold is, is where I have my third area. Okay, and while we've got this out, we're gonna go ahead and add just down here at the edge a little bit of the a postmark from the washi that we have and then a couple of let's do three butterflies from the butterfly should we do that so that you can see it on the outside? We'll test it. Okay. Now. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and put it right up here at the top. Okay. Just so you have a little surprise when you open this. Go ahead and put this down. Okay, so there's one. So just go ahead, fold the second one. Put the glue on. Remember you, I put my hand where I want to make sure I don't put glue. That is just something I do. Um, <laughs> Cause I will forget that I was didn't want to glue that and I'll still do it sometimes okay so there's that one I have another one of these okay and now we have the um, let's do the the regular little tuck okay so what we're gonna do here is we are a little bit bigger. I just wanna figure out which edge we wanna use. We'll use this. Okay, so um, we were three and a quarter, so I think we wanna go down to three inches here and cut it so and then we can save this because it's got butterflies on it we might use it we might not so we're cutting on the the vision side two it's just so much easier if you do these one right after the other and trying to remember which side did I cut okay and we're gonna be getting that out again in just a minute here okay okay so now we're gonna cut it and it's gonna be a square so we're gonna cut it three inches this way we'll put this over here There's that, and then for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this corner to corner, and um, okay, I want these butterflies in this in this particular one. So we're gonna cut across where the the pretty blue and purple butterfly is. Okay, and that's gonna give me two triangles. This is the one that I wanna use. So pretty blue and purple butterfly up in the left-hand corner. There we go. And then 
So that's going to be for those. And then for the top tuck, we're going to cut this one corner to corner. So on these, we're going to look at it and figure out where we want to cut. And I'm going to go ahead and cut. And this time we're going to get that purple that we didn't get last time. So you know what? We might have to actually cut. Yeah. So from there to this edge, to this. Okay, I'm going to cut from this line of this music to the edge of that butterfly, the head of that butterfly right there. Okay, head of the butterfly, line of the music. 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 Now these ones are not going to flip up on the, here, that was extra, okay? <laughs> that was extra. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and glue these on to their, um, onto their pieces. I'll show you. We're going to put those on. Now this one is going to be a folded tuck. And then we'll be putting these onto these. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so everybody is glued, and so next we are going to um, do some decorating. So um, these are our belly bands. We have a pocket here. We'll be able to attach this on the back there to our um, to our page. And these are our little tucks, okay? And so they will open, and you'll be able to write in those if you want. And then we have our top tuck, and um, no extra feature on this, just just a top tuck, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and rub those down one more time, okay? Okay, so um, I did go ahead and I fussy cut out some of the butterflies from this kit. So I have those. So the next thing I would do is go ahead and um, I am going to use a tick. Here the ticket can actually be part of the decoration. And... Here, it can actually be part of the decoration. And I'm gonna cover the, the purple butterfly because it doesn't really match the rest of what we have going on here. So we can have a butterfly. I think we'll put this at the bottom of this and then I know what we can do. <laughs> I know what we can do. We can have this be our little closure. It'll be part of the collage. Yeah, I like that. Okay, hopefully we have... Okay, and here we have our... 
72. I think we'll go ahead and put this um, on the edge here. Okay, so it'll make it so that it'll be make it easier to f um, open it. And here it doesn't really have to be. So we have plenty <coughs> of those. Okay, so um, that gives us that. Let's see. Oh yeah. I want to add some lace so we'll add some lace to the bottom of these over here so we go ahead and cut all three pieces assembly line and have them ready okay and we would do the same thing we would go ahead and have our tags cut and pick out our butterflies and have that all ready. Okay, so then for this, I'm gonna put this on this outside edge because the way this was made, it's probably gonna go on the right side of the page. Okay, so I can go ahead, cut out all three and grab three butterflies. And then I would also grab those and the ticket. And then for this one, I think it's gonna be a right side top tuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll add the um, lace to this edge on these, okay? This does not count as an edge for your um, edges. Okay, in this, this uh, challenge, all of your elements are separate. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut the three out for that and grab their butterflies. Welcome to the messy desk. Okay, so those go with that. These go with these. So we're adding lace to this edge. I want to make sure that it grabs and holds on. And if it's a little long, that's okay because we can always cut it. Then we would go ahead, do the same thing to the other two. And then I'll go ahead and add the lace to the others and I will be right back. So we're gonna go ahead and add our ticket and our butterfly. Okay, so our butterfly is gonna go on with some of the wing down. So between the wing and the bottom of the butterfly, I'm not gonna put any glue, okay? I'm gonna let it free, hang freely over the edge. But the rest of this is gonna have glue. Okay, so between that wing and the bottom, there's no glue. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put it down. And then we'll grab our little dot. Okay, our little dot. And that is going to come down. It's going to just barely come up over the butterfly. Okay, we just want enough that's going to hold that, help to hold the, the page down. And I'm going to go ahead and seal it from side. To side. We'll go ahead and do the other one and I'll be right back. So we can go ahead and move on with our little tucks. So what we're gonna do here, half ticket, half ticket, butterfly, 
butterfly. And this time our little thing is going to be on the edge over here. Okay, so we can glue down our ticket. Glue down our butterfly. And then grab our little number. We, I'm going to pull this one away and have it up at the up at the top. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and two staples like we did before, and then that is going to be my my little tuck. We have an area that you can write. So this will get glued on the back here and here, and something would be able to go inside. We're gonna go ahead and I will fast forward while I make the other two. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving, hi! And say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you're here and you've joined us today. If you are actually here at the premiere, then please come on over to the chat. I'm probably over there. I'd love to say hi. We have a great community over there that would love to welcome you as well. We also have our Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, and great community growing over there. We're able to um, share our projects and prayer requests and get to know each other even better in that group um also the dear julie julie etsy shop has the digitals and they are all 50 percent off right now while we're home safer at home so we use the premiere format here at dear julie julie which means that this is a pre-recorded video and like I said, I'm probably over there in the chat and I can answer questions and make suggestions and things like that if you'd like. Also, um, we do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with a brand new crafty video. And we'd love to have you come back and see us again. So let's get back to our program. So we have finished our little tucks and now we'll move on to the top tucks okay so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the lace on here and want to see um, how the edges look when I put them in so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go ahead and figure out where we want to decorate I'm gonna decorate these at the top with the ticket laying out a little bit so like we had the butterfly down at the bottom on the other one We'll go ahead, lay the ticket out, and one of these tickets um, was not coffee dyed, so I distressed it, and then to so that they would all match, I distressed all three. Can you tell which one? Yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot, I, I have one that's not coffee dyed, but it, it worked. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our butterfly. And I'm going to add it like that, actually. So it's kind of going to go off the edge. Okay, so I want it to be at the edge of this ticket. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit, little bit off the edge. So I'm not going to put glue on that one edge of the butterfly. And again, these butterflies are from the Flutters and Fairies digital kit in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And they're available for immediate download and then you can print them and use them right away if you'd like. Okay, so we went ahead this time and since we left room, I wonder if we should just put our little dot right up here. Right, right up here. Yeah, like, like so. Okay. So let's figure out where we want to put them. 
So again, we are doing the assembly line method. So um, there we go, one, two, three, and then we'll go ahead and I am gonna use the stapler because we've been using it for this part of the, um, the project here. So I am working in my August assembly line junk journal and I'm actually making three single signature junk journals all at once. Um, you have the choice in this month's challenge to either make one three signature journal or three one signature journals. And um, if you want more information about the uh, challenge, you can go ahead and check out the details video that's in the description box down below. I am going to go ahead and cut these at the angle of the bottom of, okay, so those are cut. So those are my three top tucks. Now with the tucks and the belly bands, you can make all of yours the same. Okay, I, um, I'm just giving you three different ideas. I had people asking for ideas. So I've taken the same idea, um, the same um, items, and given you a belly band idea. Now you could also do this for your long, your long belly band, okay? And have the long piece and be able to slip things inside and this could be a pocket here instead of an opening if you wanted it to be but remember ours has both we have our opening here and we have a pocket here which i think is kind of kind of going to be kind of fun so we'll go ahead and i'm going to put these in in the three of these course you know I like the numbers and put the numbers up okay so I'm just gonna put those in there so don't forget you can add elements like that to your belly bands could even have we could have even made this to where it was a, a pocket but this time we actually attached all the elements. Are you enjoying the assembly line method? I am just so surprised at how fast everyone is moving along and getting their journals finished for this challenge. Um, it's pretty exciting. Um, on another note, the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge VIP Party is open. The party at 3 o'clock. If you finished your journal and you posted it in the May Mayhem Challenge, um, make sure that you were on the list of the invitations and that you've accepted your invitation because all of the information for um, how you get to the party and everything is, is in your invitation. And um, also the uh, digital kit has been added to the group. Yeah, I had some, I had some difficulties, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't, I, I cleaned my computer, I cleaned it out, all the stuff out, and all the passwords and everything disappeared, and I couldn't find my Facebook password. <sighs> For the big computer now the phone everything else all the, everybody else worked but the digital was in the the big computer and so that was the delay between last night and this morning i i was just so frustrated and anxiety that i had to go ahead and go to bed and then get up this morning and take care of the facebook password so it's all taken care of and um the digital kit is now in the party and so it is sunflowers and it will be available in the Etsy shop on Wednesday um, I still have some more pages I want to add to it and so yeah so anyway back to what we're doing here we have made I made nine you only have to make eight 
Um, but I made nine because I want one for each of my three journals. And so which one's your favorite? I think I really like the belly band. I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited that I used the quilt pages. I think were a great addition. Now the one other thing that I do probably need to do is I'm going to have to distress these. Okay, so we have all of our tucks and our, they're done. I think that they turned out really cool. And um, yeah, so with that, I'm going to be putting a junk journal playlist up here. There will be junk journal video over here for you for your watching pleasure or company while you are crafting. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.